Hello, I'm Dawn Whitelaw and I want to welcome you to my video workshop. In this video, you're going to learn how to deal with the enormous amount of material that nature presents to you and learn how to sift it down to make the painting very personal. You're going to learn how to give the painting a lot of energy by using a small sketch instead of a photographic reference. You're going to learn things about color. You're going to learn things about value and edges. I've tried to include some unique things in the video. One element are the bonus sections at the end. And the other thing is because I'm a teacher at heart, I've included homework. The thing that would help students paint better is to paint more, I believe. Uh, I know that people are limited in their time, but there's nothing that can take the place of miles of canvas. I really didn't start painting until my mid-30s, and I got into it in a very unusual way. I'd painted a little bit, but really my heart was graphic design. And, but I went to a museum and saw a painting by a painter, Cecilia Beau and it stopped me in my tracks. I grew up in a small town, did not see a lot of original art except my mom's, and this painting, I didn't know that paint on canvas could look that way, and I decided at that moment that that's what I wanted to do. I would describe my style of painting as evolving. It's this moving, changing organism. If I had to give you a general statement about my style of painting, I would say that I'm more interested in how things feel than exactly how they look. When we start to paint, we're so obsessed with making a thing look like a thing and getting in all the little parts. That's part of the learning process. But as you progress as a painter, you know, you're painting because you have some sensitivity to how beautiful things are. You start to be more concerned with how they feel, how you emotionally react to them. I really have never been put in a box of being a landscape painter or a portrait painter. The subjects are all the same to me. They're just shape and color and feeling. So I paint everything. I, every, on a daily basis, I see random things that I want to paint all the time. I've been painting for a while and you would think that I would get tired. People ask me sometimes, don't you need a break or don't you get tired? I stay inspired and motivated all the time and that's the truth. I paint a lot, I love painting, but I honestly think my real work here on the earth is to inspire others. I connect with people, I love talking to an artist, no matter what their level, and trying to find out what they're interested in, what they want their paintings looked in. I love that connection and I love helping them on their journey. 